Hello everyone, this is Brian on PX2E, and welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. When last we left our hero, we were waiting for these guys to wake up so that they can hopefully show us how to put all this together. While they're waking up, while we're waiting for the morning, there's a few little items I wanted to go run back and get if I could. Um, we'll take a look in this cave first, actually. I've totally walked by this cave before. Ooh! Treasure. An archaic tunic. Old-fashioned upper body wear. It's got some holes, but the soft cloth feels good to the touch. It's hard to keep it wrinkle-free. Well, now I'm stylish. Bright bloom seed. A seed that often found in caves or wells. When struck, it will take root and bloom, giving off a faint light from a small flower. I'm sure those will come in handy. Oh, wow. Giant bright bloom seed. A seed that's found in the ground. When struck, it does the same thing. It's just bigger. Good old Keysai Ball. Turns an arrow to a homing quality arrow. Well, that'll be handy. And a wing, an aerodynamic material dropped by a defeated Keys. Arrows and thrown weapons fly farther when item, this item is attached. That's gonna really come in handy. What is this? Is that a frog? Yeah, some sort of frog. I just assumed it was an enemy. Ooh! Oh. Bubble, bubble gem. A strange crystal left by defeated bubble frogs in caves its eerie blue glow may entice you to collect even more well you've got that right more bright bloom seeds I, think I have something that can break this good old salt oops A ruby contains the power of fire and flint. I wonder if I can attach that to an arrow to make like a an arrow that'll spark instead of using a flame arrow. Woo. Um No option for flint. Oh there it is. That's pretty cool. What if I adjust? Oh, that's interesting. Maybe it doesn't work as I thought it would. I'll have to try that again later. See, there's a fused light. that since I need that to destroy more broken areas. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna keep grabbing those eyeballs because homing, homing arrows would be pretty handy. This is where I was. So...
wonder if we'll get to get to that dragon that's off in the distance at some point. Well, now that we've explored that cave, let's, let us go back to the constructs and see if they can teach us how to use our little... What is it called? The battery pack? Waste pack? Energy cells, that's the name of it. Guess I can't surf a shield with a giant boulder on it. If you try to sh sh shield surf with a shield fused with something that will get in the way, you'll fall. Oh. that noise? Oh, that was the bell that the constructs were talking about. And they're awake! Hello! The rafts for crossing to the other side are broken. Transportation is on hold indefinitely. This is ordinarily where we send resources across the river. The only silver lining is that the Zonai devices are undamaged. What's a Zonai device? Ah, it seems you do not know of Zonai devices. They are necessities around here. Allow me to explain. The green thing is called a Zonai device. The one you see here is a fan. You can produce wind on demand by striking it. They are self-evidently useful. We have a variety of Zonai devices for multitudinous purposes. Using Zonai devices does require energy. An external energy cell will be necessary in your case. Ah, you already have one. That is a relief. But perhaps a refresher explanation is in order. An energy cell stores the energy required to use Zonai devices. Its energy will replenish automatically while Zonai devices are not in use. Its capacity is not unlimited. Use the energy contained within wisely, otherwise you may run out at inappropriate moments. Pardon the long explanation, it does not change our, our need for a raft. It does not change our need for a raft. Zonai devices are extremely useful. Think creatively and you will find many ways to employ them. Awesome. Do these all three say the same thing? The rafts are broken. The Zonai devices will be useless until they are fixed. That is a problem. You may want to craft a raft on, of your own. Feel free to use the devices by the water. I assume all three of them say the same thing. So let's craft a device. Ah, we may have need of these parts. There are more materials near the water available for your use. Apologies. I thought that area was near the water as well. Okay. Can we build a raft? Throw a couple barrels on there for style points. Oops. Um, with this, which side is the top, and which side is the... which side blows air? <laughs> Let me guess that side. We'll find out quickly if I am correct. Okay, that's a pretty good boat. Let's place it here in the water, jump on. 
Okay, so we discovered that I was wrong. They go this way. <laughs> of course they do. Unstuck. There we go. All right. That barrel's off kilter. Eh, that's fine. Uh oh. Do I have a? Yes, I do. I did not, uh, didn't see anything obvious, then. Anything obvious to make one with. Oh, was I? I should probably should have turned that off before I wasted my battery. That's okay. Nothing under here. I have to check, though. Habit. Where are we in the relation to... I thought we saw another... Um, point. I guess I can climb up. I think we saw another shrine up at the top there. See what the construct has to say. Oh, are you going this direction? This mountain path is especially rugged. You must take your environment into account when traveling. I have developed guidelines for traveling this mountain path. Shall I tell you them? Let's hear it. Very well. Fire is a crucial tool when traveling the mountain path. A fire can be used either to cook or to warm yourself. How do I start a fire? I recommend using flint as a fire starter. Place flint next to a boulder, a bundle of wood, then strike it with a metallic or stony weapon. This is my recipe for fire. There are several other methods, but it's best to internalize the basics first. Would you like to hear about cooking? Yeah, teach me to cook. You can cook any time and anywhere. All you need is a pot with a lit fire. One method of cooking is simply to throw random ingredients into the pot. Others are more careful. This is the best way to make meals that can warm you up. Other effects are also possible. Insects and monster parts are not edible. Do not cook horns or guts with food. Save these parts as materials for elixirs. Elixirs are also helpful in the mountains. They are an alternate way to warm your your body or recover stamina. The first step in all cases is to start a fire. That is all I can tell you. Take care. Thank you. So detailed. So, it must be cold up here. Do I have anything to make it so I can warm myself? Oh, hello. Shroom. Oh, that's a speed boost. I don't think I have anything that can help me with uh, staying warm, but this will speed me up. Hasty hey, Mushroom Skewer grants a mid, mid level movement speed boost. Oh, I have recipe. Check your inventory for the recipe. Is that over here? Wait. 
check recipe. Oh. That's really nice. In the last game, you just had to memorize everything, so... Definitely can appreciate that. I hope I can make it. It might be close. Well, I didn't die. <laughs> We can easily solve this. Let's um, cook some of these stamina shrooms. <laughs> Energizing mushroom skewer. Let's do a couple of those. We hummed a new tune. All right. This time we'll be successful. Let's uh, let's not waste all of our stamina doing a jump. Slow and steady. In the last game, there was a um, handy set of climbing gear. I hope that makes a return. Although, with all these Zonai devices, perhaps there was a better way to just fly on up. I should have tried that, actually. I could have tried to take those little, uh... jets and pointed them up. Probably wouldn't have been powerful enough. There we go. We are successful. See treasure. Ooh. Whoa. That'd be bad if those were explosive. What's he doing? He's making a fan. Oh man, look at that. His um his bow the way he shoots his bow is really cool. I did try to dodge that one. Which eye do I have to hit? He has, he has three of them. I guess any of them more. He can really keep me at distance with that. That is um, a useful tip later on. Drop this. That one has a claim claymore attached, so it's a little bit more more powerful. Opal with water power. Enjoying the quality of arrows I'm finding. I felt like I was always looking for arrows before. Was there anything over there? Huck. 
I see. That could have been a path I came up on. I could have ambushed them from behind. Oops. myself a little train. How fast do I want to make this train? <laughs> Does that work? We'll try it. I don't think that middle one's doing anything. over here instead. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. too much weight on there. And then I tried to take it off. Mid, mid track. Derailed the train. I'm not sure what I'm... This looks like a train. Oh, it's an upside down cart. Let's go. Whoa. That's not to say it is very dark. Nothing to explore, though. A simple cave. Please wait. This cave is especially dark. You will need a light in order to proceed to the mining site ahead. Do you have any bright bloom seeds? Yes, I do. What a relief. You would not otherwise be able to see anything as you proceed. Bright bloom seeds grow primarily in caves. There was once a time when they grew here as well. This cave has been mostly picked clean of them. That is because it is especially dark. The seeds were often necessary. My associates often forget to bring bright bloom seeds. I am posted here to provide a reminder. Use them to light your way. If you are if you are proceeding ahead, watch your step. Doesn't seem too dark. Zonite. An unusual mineral that has many purposes. Ancient extracted energy from it and refined it for crafting of weapons and armor. 
Zonaite. Zonite? Zonaite? I think it's Zonaite. Zonite charge. A material that is used to power. Power a source. I will make another. Oops. That was, um, that was the wrong button. <laughs> I just threw one of those fire seeds. That's okay. Now that we know the trick, how about we don't use the ruby? We can use some of those. Please wait, this cave is especially dark. Yep. Uh, yes I do. We're all good. Somehow I was just here. Like deja vu. Construct. Let's light this place up for him. Our nice little robot friends. Ooh, that's some lava. Hmm. Apologies for not noticing you. I was focusing on processing zonaite. What is zonaite? Oh, are you unfamiliar with it? This is the zonaite I mentioned. It is a unique mineral that can be mined far beneath the land below. There are trace deposits of it on this island as well, but they are limited to this cave. Our society flourishes by processing this substance into other materials. Processing? Zonite is processed by smelting it in a furnace. It is thereby converted into materials with useful properties. A few such materials will be ready for your review shortly. Wait one moment. Thank you for your patience. I will now explain what sorts of materials the ore can be processed into. Zonai technology is typically powered by zonai charges. These occasionally solidify into a form known as crystallized charges. Converting zonite into other useful materials in this way is called processing. What's a zonai charges? Zonai charges are what power zonai devices and constructs. A charge can be consumed to replenish your energy cell. Do you need anything else explained? What are the crystallized charges? Crystallized charges are solidified form of the zonite charges. We mainly use them as raw materials in the construction of energy cells. Please visit anytime you require processed materials. That's very useful. Oh, I can I can buy these. Sure, I'll buy I'll buy two. these. I'll also buy two of these. That makes a satisfying sound.
This is a minecart station. Excavated resources can be transported from here. Could it be that you have forgotten to bring Zonai capsules? What's a Zonai capsule? You have forgotten yours, or perhaps you may not even know what I mean. Zonai capsules are a convenient means of carrying portable Zonai devices. It is unfortunate that you seem to have none. I will lend you a few spares. Oh, thank you very much. Fan. A Zonai device that produces... Oh, it's a Zonai fan and a capsule. The ones I gave you were fan types. You can deploy them at any time. They will generate wind when struck. Zonai devices are useful and they can come in many varieties. I will always carry several with me for any occasion. Many neglect to keep a healthy supply on hand. I keep watch for such individuals. The spares I gave you were the last ones I carried. Take care not to forget again. Remember that a device cannot be put back in its capsule. Think carefully before deploying one from your pouch. Wait. I have a a minecart weapon. <laughs> That's pretty ridiculous. I must protect myself. I'm just picking this up. I'm not I'm not going to cause you any harm. Okay. We're going to take this. We're going to turn it around. Did I take out three or is that just hiding there? Oh well. That's okay. Time bell that sounds from the temple of time rings at a set time each morning and evening. Along with the constructs, we woke to the sound of the bell. When we heard it in the evening, we knew it was time to rest. Hmm. It also played its part in our traditional ceremonies. In a way, it was this place's beating heart. The sight of the temple and the sound of the bell stir fond memories in me.
I, um... I need to look at a map. What's this? Forge construct. I need to reach my friend. I need to reach my friend. What is going on? This is awful. Where is my friend? Huh? You can see me? I'm a Korok, one of the children of the forest. I was traveling with my friend, but we got separated. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired though I can't move. What's in your backpack? Just uh, take him right over here. Uh, okay, maybe not. We won't torment him. We'll come back in a moment. I just oh, I could have just used the same card. We will just use the same card. Good? Be good? You're here, right? You can't see him, so it doesn't count. Reunited at last. Thanks. I'd like to give you something, but here's all I have. Two Korok seeds. Well, bye bye Made it thanks to you. Some more Zonaite. Looks like I'll have to figure out a way to repair this track. Um, before, let's just... Let's go see what, uh... What the construct was doing. Times I put that in the wrong direction. <laughs> this is what I was after. 
Device dispenser operation confirmed. On track to meet today's Zonai capsule production target. Oh, do you want to use the device dispenser? I have nearly met my target. You are welcome to use it. The device dispenser. Yes, this is a device dispenser. It produces Zonai capsules by converting certain resources. The resources it accepts are things such as construct horns and Zonai charges. You can process resources that you hold by dropping them into the receptacle. It is similar to using a cooking pot. Shall I explain Zonai capsules too? No, the last person did. The device dispenser is yours to use at any time. You need only feed it the, requ the requisite materials. Oh, I have lost track of time. It seems I even missed the time bell. I will suspend my activities for now. The dispenser remains available to be used. I don't think that's what it wanted. Um, it said... horns? <laughs> I got a fan, a flame emitter. A zoning device that shoots fire. It's thought to have been originally used as protection from monsters. Portable pot. A zoning device for cooking food almost anytime, anywhere. It lasts for cooking one recipe only. The device is easier to use on flat surfaces. Wow. Let's get some more. More flame emitters. Do I get different quality depending on um, the quality of the horn? Fan for a pot. Let's try um, one of these. Very cool. There's something on the map here, but I, I don't know what it's talking about. Is it talking about that over there? It doesn't appear to be. Forge Construct. Huh. Well, we continue. Okay. So we need to repair that.
Can't reach that high. There's a hook there. Oh, maybe... Okay, I have an idea. Quick snack before I forget about that missing heart. Oh. Um, very scary. Whew. I would not recommend uh, anyone else travels on this. But it worked. chest. A portable pot. Exploring, I don't feel any closer to these shrines. Spicy peppers. That would have been handy for surviving cold temperature. Excuse me. The snowy mountain above us is extremely cold. Unprepared travelers will swiftly lose vitality or may even die. Are you fortified against the cold? Fortified how? Insufficient preparation can lead to death in harsh environments. My advice can avert this. Please listen carefully. The primary safeguards used by our creators were meals that warmed them. These meals are typically prepared using ingredients with warm-sounding names. Any such ingredients will suffice. Some also wore thick clothes or warmed themselves by a fire. These solutions were effective, but less accessible. Be mindful of your ingredients when cooking. My understanding is that only one cooking effect can apply per meal. You must take care not to eat something with a different effect afterwards. The chill will set in sooner than you expect. Let's make some spicy beef. Spicy beef. Oh. Sp 
Buying sea pepper steak. Grants low level cold resist. The meat has been cooked in crushed peppers to accent its nat natural taste. How deep does this cave go? Go the other direction. I guess that was it. Wait, no, there's a little ledge up here. And now that it now that's it. No, there's another ledge up here. Okay. Okay, we got this. Ah. Now we're in the cold. Let's eat our food to stay warm. The snow is blinding. I see you. Ra Raru over there, but there's a puzzle. I have to do the puzzle. Haha, <laughs> 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 uh -huh, you found me. I sure did. <laughs> Goodbye. I don't know what this does. Oh! What? I catch it? <laughs> I do catch it. Okay. Haha, <laughs> uh -huh, you found me. What a bizarre, uh, bizarre little puzzle.
The soldier constructs and captain constructs are only doing their duty to protect the Garden of Time. At the time, it was sadly necessary to protect our land from invaders. I am terribly sorry for any threat they pose to you now. Pose me any threat. Oh, it's just a rock. Well, that looks like a rock I can make an axe from. Nice, okay. Let's save that axe now. Because uh, chopping down trees with a sword does not work. Oh, there's many ro little rock cutter rocks. Now that I'm looking. Huh. It's a very tall cliff, but there's a cave. Maybe I go in the cave. Yep. <laughs> oh no. This club seems pretty cool. Whoa. Ridiculous. Yes, I will use that weapon now. <laughs> I, I got distracted where I was going just by my flaming dragon stick. Bottomless cave. Bomb flower, a dangerous flower that contains explosive elements, do not mix well with fire or electricity. Unless the goal is to blow things up. Sometimes it is. Let's, uh, try one of these new bomb flowers. Cool! That was probably overkill. That's okay, it was fun. Oh, that's why it's a bottomless cave. Because there's a hole in the ground. that? Uh oh. I like that. This is a really weird worm monster. Like like stone. Oh, it's a like like. They look just as weird here as they do in other games. A strange round stone from a like like made of crystallized inner fluids. It's a good ingredient for elixirs. Oh.
I'm glad we're going up, because that's where that shrine is. Whoa, another one. I'm wondering if it likes spawn flowers. you and then take your stuff. I don't really want to get close enough to see what happens. It's nice to keep dropping chests, though. Flame emitter. Nice. that to something. I need a stick. I need a stick. It's a shield? Oh. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. into this game and this um, fusion options are definitely going to be awesome. I should have used my flamethrower shield on that. That's what I should have done. It's ice. We're about to be very cold, too. <laughs> Quickly take out materials by pressing and hold this and selecting that. Okay. Can I get um, some hot peppers? How do I hold them? Well, I need to cook them, so... is very useful. spot to climb. I was about to say, I don't know what I'm supposed to do up here. Thank you. 
Ooh. See what we got. Another opal. I was hoping this would help me see how to get across here. Oh, I just go up there. I could build something with those. Yeah, we can make this work. Oh, there they are. I'm definitely in hoarding mode in this game, because I feel like I need to collect everything. Carnival games. We made it. At the shrine. Finally. Gut Gutenbach Shrine. So you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. Ascend, move upward through solid materials and emerge on top of it. Fascinating. Mm. This is the Ascend ability. It lets you travel through what's directly above you to ascend through it and emerge on top of it. You'll find it quite useful in all sorts of places and situations. 
Mm. Use Ascend and receive the blessing of from this shrine. The ability to rise. Pretty trippy. Oh, thought it was going to show up inside that treasure chest. Stone axe. Time has stopped when I'm doing that. That's interesting. Secrets. A construct bow. Um, I already have all construct bows, but this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Blessing grant you the strength you seek. <sighs> I see you've restored some power to that new arm of yours. Mm. The door into the Temple of Time should now open for you. Amazing. Although, I thought I saw one more shrine. Oh, we already got that one. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, well, Temple of Time we go. What's the fastest way to get there? Oh, I, I can't teleport, so we walk. careful of these edges, because some of these edges might go off into oblivion. Ooh. Okay, good. Unbearable cold? You know that makes sense. My mistake, my mistake. Make another good old tree ladder. Oh, wait, I can go under it now. Right. That's cool, you can choose not to go in case you pop up and bunch of enemies. <laughs> Archaic Warm Greaves! That's great. Uh, they're resistant to cold temperature, which is much better than the skirt I'm wearing. See what's at the top of this tree. Seems like one of those places a Korok would be. Would you look at that? This happens to be a circle of rocks. Okay, maybe. Wouldn't that be great if it wasn't anything? I bet it is. <laughs> Baha, you saw found me. Bye bye Let's go to that dispenser. See if it has anything new for us. Oh. Mm. The Zonine device were the pinnacle of our technology. We built an advanced civilization with them, and flourished for many, many years. Oh. If you can master the use of the Zonai devices, your quest will be much easier. go. Let's throw some of these in there. I feel like a 
It's like a lottery. Maybe I'll get lucky and get something really cool. Flame emitter. Fan. Ooh, something new. A wing. A zone I device that can harness lift to ride the wind. To fly farther, try balancing on the center of the wing. That is very cool. Oh. Can I just go up to infinity? That'd be, uh, that's a little scary. How does this little platform work? What am I supposed to do with this? direction this time. You know, I could have just, um, gone under it and then gone up the screen. I'm gonna have to start wrapping my head around, uh, thinking in this many dimensions. Let's see if this works. There we go. No, just a chest. Wing times three. Those are handy. Just gotta learn how to use it. What's stopping me from taking that little airship and just going all the way over there? Me wanting to complete everything. That's uh that's what's stopping us. <laughs> it's down there. Hello. My maintenance duties are complete for today. It has been another cycle with no visitors. Oh. This is a rarity. It is unusual for me to receive visitors here. I assume you require Zonai devices to descend the mountain. Would you like to use the device dispenser? I'm fine, I just bought some. Or got some. It is interesting to have a visitor after so long in isolation. I am happy to address whatever questions you have. Can you tell me how to use one of these? Pads. Oh, there's one already ready. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. I did the wrong direction. That's why it's not flying. <laughs> Of 
course will continue. Okay. That was just a practice round. Okay, that was scary, but we got it. <laughs> oh, there we go. I guess I don't have to use a fan. I can just jump on it, right? Seems like a fan will help me. We will just uh, turn it this time. Because, like a fan. Yeah, it looks like a normal house fan. That's my deal. that little fan, it actually gets some lift. It's about to go out, but that's okay. I can turn. I can crash land, too. Now it is a boat. It is not a very good boat. <laughs> Amazing. Well, let's see. What's the best way for me to... Super Magnesis. This is great. Let's see what's in here. Yep. Free stuff. A large zonite. Higher output than regular zonite. Well, that's very cool. Hmm? We find ourselves in a sea of clouds. Interesting. That would mean we're at quite an altitude. As you heard from the steward construct, this land is the Garden of Time, site of the kingdom's rites and ceremonies. Mm. Though in my day, it was on the surface. Can I still use that? Even though I don't have a takeoff pad. That didn't work at all. But it was fun to try.
We returned to the Temple of Time. He said Zelda was waiting for me earlier, didn't he? This seems like a great place to stop this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, make sure you like it. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. And we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.